Hello, fellow scrap mechanics. This is Kojak on Kojak Gaming with Hollywood. Say hi, Hollywood. Hello, everyone. There he is. And uh, Hollywood got me going on Scrap Mechanic a couple days ago, two days ago. And I kind of eh, hemmed and hawed a little bit. But I got to tell you, we are having a lot of fun. So uh, we've gotten to the point now where we're starting to design some machinery. And Hollywood came up with this design for a... Uh, it, uh, double arm articulating drill uh, harvester and this thing is pretty yeah, awesome. Let me showcase a couple of the buttons. Okay. I can get a front view going here and uh, I'm going to mute my mic here for a second. I apologize. Alright, so pretty simple, uh, pretty simple design. A little actuating arm. Throws that baby over the top. That way you can stow it for uh, traveling down to the next rock formation that you want to attack. Then we do have a 15-degree uh, drop along with a couple of piston-actuated miners right there to reach out and touch the rock a little bit better. And then, of course... Uh, the opportunity to widen and then um, you know bring it back in and squish the rock which uh, does pretty well and we'll give it a little demonstration right now all right I'm back sorry just had to do a little bit of uh, family coordination there did you, you already did the walkthrough I saw that everything swinging in I did cool yep. all right so pretty simple design I don't know if I'd say it's simple. I'd say it's effective. Yeah. And you and two man up, which is kind of cool actually. Yeah. I think. You're a buddy. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's hit this sucker and tear it apart. All right. Clean these up first or keep pressing in? Sorry, I had a phone call there. That's all right, we're good. Can't quite get these, huh? Not quite. Uh, I can try to squeeze them, but... Yeah, there we go. Oh, that'll do. Yeah. Oh, ah. Good thing that left <laughs> arm is made out of that diamond-plated steel. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh yeah. Nice. That is fine. Here. 
save some gas. from the left coming down to the right. Might poke that, there you go. Jesus. <laughs> hmm. I was working on clean up there. Oh, I got you. Squeeze that one on the right. Nice. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing machine to look at, but yeah. functionality. Yeah, uh, it, it's highly functional. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. Whoa, Nelly. <laughs> yeah, baby. Widen those 
out. Yeah, I'm basically I'm cycling on him. Yeah, and then squeeze and open. Yep, I'm bringing it down again. Thought I was. Yep, it's lowered. There you go. Coming up. Oh God. <laughs> Go engine. Hmm. See if you can grab these two. Bot. Hey guys! Minus 357 seconds. Oh, sorry guys, I've been so focused here on paying attention to what we're doing. Pizza Killer, Iron Man fan, and ES7509, welcome to the stream. And thanks for the follow, ES. Appreciate that. Uh, I don't understand why it's been minus 35. Yeah, I've gone back in, I've gone back in time, apparently. Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah, we're down to one viewer. Well, anyway, welcome nonetheless. Sorry, that's what I get for not paying attention. I get so focused on... Oh, hang on. I gotta drink something. I'll tell you what, we're going to finish up this stream, and uh, we'd have to figure out, this is, we're actually on Hollywood's game right now. So what we were intended to do was we just want to get on here for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and showcase what this thing was looking like. And then I'm not really sure what we're going to be doing after we get done with this stream. Hey, Dusty, you're back. Welcome back. <laughs> Shut him down for just a second. Yep. I'll raise the deck here, too.
can squeeze these. The yep. You ready? If we can get that guy, that is a tough one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Come on, break apart already. Jeez. There. There we go. I got a few little chunks there yeah, on the left. Yeah, a few hidden in the bushes here. Add suspension to the drills. A suggestion from ES5709. What do you think, Hollywood? Add some suspension to the drills. Suspension. Suspension. Yeah, keep, to keep the deck from bouncing around as much and maybe make it more stable. Is that what you're getting at, ES? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I could see where, uh, with the deck being less bouncy, I mean, well, although, I gotta say that when you're, uh, when you're bouncing around, you kind of get, uh, keep them pressed on the rocks. Yeah, that makes sense. I've noticed that on the low ones, after you do the initial break, though, especially with sawing as well, I've got a saw vehicle i got to showcase here in a little while, too, tonight, uh, that bouncing up and down helps make those contacts, because it seems like even though if you're getting hits, it's not breaking everything apart until it does almost like a bounce or a, a second, third, fourth contact in a row. One more chunk down there, it looks like. Al although it could be just the opposite. It could be because of the bounce that is why it's not breaking apart. It's a valid point. I think it's worth looking into check it out and yeah. throw some suspension on to keep them stable so that they keep contact uh, on whatever it is that they're doing instead of getting bounced off of them. Well, and I will say, that, I will but it works preface good. this with the fact that uh, this is my very first vehicle the game ever used. That's true. <laughs> this, this is Hollywood's first vehicular design, so just imagine what we're in store for. Oh, it's going to get stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. We took it out and test ran it, I and we were surprised at how well it actually did. That will work. There you go. All right, pinching. No suspension on this either, on the wheels. This is, uh, let's get this made and go try it out, and then if it works, we'll showcase it. So, ES, do you think some, yep, suspension work on the, uh, on the back and front, I would think would cause less sliding. Okay, so ES says, suggestion for scouting car, swivel wheels on the front, and suspension steering. You're not, t you're not saying like casters. Swivel wheels on the front. Yeah, I'm actually surprised at how well it just ran right over the rear wheels. Just now over that, uh, that yeah. little piece that was um, left there. I, I, I wish I could remember his name so I could give him credit on your stream. But, uh, so I did get, I did see. Uh, Poglin. It was Poglin. Uh, no, that was for the suspension. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought that's yeah. what you were talking about. No, I was more referring to this. Uh, General design. 
And, you know, one thing that, uh, one thing that he did showcase, which I can get, yeah, at least for the rear wheels, I think the front wheels, I agree with you from previous discussion, that they do need to be widened. Uh, it's just gonna make it, it's just gonna make it better to drive over and scoop stuff. And, uh, and this thing doesn't have all the wheels, nor the engine upgrades that it could have. I mean, we're, we're, I mean we made it to the mechanic shop, but that's where we are. In yeah, that's the true. Where we are in the world, we've played this, you know, a handful of hours. Right, we're doing this with a, what, a level, two level three engines on here? Yep. But I will say that uh, one thing he did showcase with this rear wheel pivot system, uh -huh. rather than a suspension system, is it doesn't get stuck if you spread it out correctly. It just doesn't. And I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive, really. I mean, rather than, you know, a suspension system. So ES is asking about, uh, do you know about double wishbone suspension? Yeah, in fact, that's uh, Poglin's video is the one that we were talking about. What I want to do is uh, I, I need to make a buggy, a scouting buggy, to go out and grab uh, some oil that we found not too far away. And uh, so that's what I'm going to work on tonight. You can, see, you can see if you get a side view on this thing. What this, I mean, it's got contact. Granted, the engine's not really all that strong or powerful, but... There we go. Yeah, I've got a, got a... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Right Unfortunately, guess. we're not too far away. No. Well, well, you run and get gas. I will uh, hop out of here, do a quick little walk along the along the edge, and then uh, see if we got other scraps to throw in. But, uh, mini wishbone. I actually found a way to make the suspension much, much cheaper uh, by way of, what, less bearings? Mini wishbone. Well, if you've got a link uh, or a video, go ahead and push it. Less pipes and bearings. Okay, yeah, sweet. If you've got a link to a video that you made, by all means, throw throw it in there, and uh, I'd be happy to go take a look at it. Excellent. Uh, are you streaming? Yes, anywhere. Okay. Well, yeah, if you want to, if you want to put a video together on the next showcase that, that I that we do, um, hopefully we'll be able to do another one tonight with the uh, with the woodcutter. Uh, and then when I do the uh, suspension build, I'll reference yours and throw the link into uh, into the stream so that you know people will be able to see it and go to it. Hmm. That's something. I'm, I'm not watching the stream, but uh, I'm sort of curious with his uh, suspension design. Does he have one of these robots or a couple of these robots on the deck of it? And what does that do to it? And does are his shocks you know, completely upgraded to the highest level? That's a good point. Those, that's all valid. Yeah, for whatever your build is on your... He calls it a... We don't have the... We don't have the components to be going crazy with not this. yet that's true no but it's his build he calls it a mini wishbone so yeah i'd be curious okay. to see what that looks like i think we have cleaned up this rock we got one little chunk left but i can do that by hand oh no i can't what am i thinking i can do this one I think this is a good showcase. I think uh, we've got a pretty good demo on a challenging rock, kind of up on the side of a hill. You've got a slope, uh, a little bit of a steep incline, some level ground on the other side. But all in all, with a two-man op using uh, Hollywood's uh, Bone Crusher, that's what we're calling it now, by the way, Bone Crusher, until Hollywood changes it. Uh, I think that was, uh, I think it was a pretty good little demo of it. 
So we're going to bring this one to a close. Thanks for watching. ES. Let's go through just Oh. Usually, yeah, that's what you're talking about is trial and error. Uh, we're going to bring this to one to a close. ES, I hope you uh, are able to catch the next stream. And because I would really love to be able to see that video and, uh, and link it. And on, until the next one, next time, look for the uh, woodcutter. I've got a three blade saw vehicle that I made uh, in a reverse tricycle design. And uh, for those of you who like this, hope to see you on the next one as well. Hollywood will be back with me and uh, we will showcase that one. And then also looking at building a double wishbone suspension for a scout buggy type vehicle, which is going to be largely based off of Poglin and whatever I see from ES as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace, love, and hair grease. <laughs>